Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a Demigod Hair of Zeus build guide in Baldur's Gate 3. This is a modded class that was made by Dean Enterprise, and this is cool because it has five distinct subclasses with the Hair of Artemis just being added. We're going to be focused on the Hair of Zeus here, so this is uh, born from love or sometimes manipulation between Olympian gods and mortals. Demigods have extremely, are extremely expelled skilled spellcasters who have advantage of the divine, so you can use fate to restore your spell slots. And depending on what subclass you choose, you get different choices for spells. We're going to go with the Hair of Zeus here, which gives us options like Frostbite, Lightning Lure. So if you have the Mistress Spells mod, you get a lot of great choices. Thunderclap, Gust of Wind, or Shocking Grasp. Shocking Grasp is a pretty good one here if you don't want to go with uh, Lightning Lure or Frostbite. But this one will give disadvantage on attack rolls and pull targets towards you. For the spells at level 1, I think Create Water is super useful because you can double your damage with Lightning and Cold... Or yeah, lightning or cold damage spells, so things like our frost fingers here or witch bolt can get doubled. Thunder wave is also really useful because you can push enemies off of cliffs, and that's really fun to use. And then also thunder smite, which can be pretty fun. It fits the theming of this build very well. This does use your bonus action, but it can also push targets and knock them prone. As for our ability scores, we're going to go with 10 strength, 16 dexterity, 14 constitution, 8 intelligence, 16 wisdom, and 10 um, charisma. However, you can put points into strength, or if you want to go the alpha way, you can add a strength potion to make this a much higher score, and we'll use dexterity for initiative and armor class, and wisdom just for spell rolls. Now, for skill proficiencies, always take persuasion. So yeah, that is the way to go about it, but you can put your points into strength if you want. I'll cover gear near the end of this video, but this is a really cool lightning focus build, and I'm a big fan of those. Now, at level 2, we get the Temptress Magic, so we can do Fly's bonus action after casting a spell, similar to the Storm Sorcerer. And we're going to take Frost Fingers here, it's kind of like a minor Cone of Cold, doing 2d8 cold damage, which can be doubled uh, with... And also it gets an additional damage die when you upcast it, so it's pretty nice. With that, we can also use Create Water to double the damage. So uh, we have a few different class passives here. Cloak Strike, whenever you damage an enemy with a spell, you go invisible. Paralyzing Strike will have a chance to paralyze a target with melee attack. Mighty Intensity here, spells requiring a saving throw succeed more often. Uh, fate, use Fate to modify spells. When you cast a spell, heal yourself for 2d6, and then Spell Warp. So after using a spell, you can bonus action teleport. It's kind of like we can also bonus action fly, but uh, Misty Step. So at level 3, we get ourselves the Zeus Bolt, which does 1d12 of lightning damage. So a variation of which bolt, th choose 3 targets. You can reactivate the bolt or teleport to a target after finishing using Bolt Leap. We also get a choice of another 2 spells. So we do get a choice. We get, we get a vi variation of which bolts, so you don't have to take that. So we'll take Shield and Thunder Burst here. So Thunder erupts from your body, sending enemies back flying 3 or 4 meters. So that's really nice. And then for our next choice, we'll take Paralyzing Strike to potentially uh, cause a creature to get paralyzed. At level 4, we get increased movement speed and the Invigorating Surge, so use Godly Energy to buff an ally. We also can choose a spell slot here, so you could go with um, something like Heroism for Temporary Health, Wrathful Smite, or even Divine Favor adds additional Radiant Damage. We're going to go with Shatter here, because this is uh, any inorganic targets will disadvantage on a saving throw. 3d8 of Thunder Damage, it's pretty decent. And uh, for our feet, I think it's best to go with Alert can be a good choice, or we can go with Increasing our Wisdom. Or increasing our dexterity. So those are the three best choices, I would say. We're going to go with more wisdom. Because at level 5, we get ourselves Medusa's Gaze. It's 3d6 plus 2 psychic damage. And enemies facing you are petrified or take psychic damage. So really good effects there. It does use a fate point. And for our next level spells, we get level 3 spells with lightning bolt. So create water, double the damage of this. It gets pretty strong. I also really like that if you have the Mr. Spells mod, we got our 3d10 Thunder Thunder Step, which uh, moves you into adjacent ally, and it makes a boom within 3 meters of the space you left, so you can explode uh, damage around where you were previously at. Using Fate to modify spells, this is a good choice. We'll go Mighty Intensity there. At level 6, we do get a cool effect here with our Cyclone Strike, doing a 3d6 damage on top of our weapon damage. Uh, so we attack and get a Lightning Smite. So summon a Torrent Winds into your weapon to send enemies flying back. And we get to choose a spell here, so we got things like Call Lightning if you want to have a concentration to be able to, if you're running low in spell slots, it's a pretty decent choice for 3d10 psychic or lightning damage. At level 7, we get the static field, so create a static field that stuns enemies for one turn. And then we get our level 4 spells, so things like Storm Sphere, Conner, Conjure Minor Elemental, which I'm a big fan of because we can summon in some elemental ice mephits, which will deal double damage with create water. We also have Storm Surge, which does 46 lightning plus 2d6 bludgeoning. And on each of your turns, you can shock an enemy standing within 18 meters of the sphere for 4 to 12 lightning damage with a bonus action. It's a cool spell. And uh, part of the four, five, uh, Mistress Spells 5th edition spell mod. 
At level 8, we can take things like our Ice Storm here, or you can go with a Staggering Smite, which does Psychic damage. 46 Psychic, can take reactions, more likely to miss. Either of these are really useful, so go with whatever one you prefer. We'll take an Ability Score Improvement and take up our Wisdom or our Dexterity. Your choice, we're just going to split the difference there. At level 9, we get uh, Godly Form, so take your four true, true Forms of God, ends when you temporary health points is deleted, use the three Fate Points. And we get to choose level 5 spells, with Cone of Cold being a very powerful one, and Conjure Elemental. And we also get Steel Wind Strike, which is super useful, so it's hard to pick and conjure our hold monster. Steel Wind Strike's probably the strongest here, so I guess we'll take that. I always love taking Cone of Cold, though, because that can be doubled with Create Water, so pretty strong. And then for this level, we'll take our Cone of Cold, which is 128 damage at max with Create Water set up. Hold Monster's really nice, but Hold Person's a bit more bang for your buck, unless you're fighting someone that needs that. And then obviously we're going to take Chain Lightning, it just fits this build perfectly. And uh, there's also Odaluk's Freezing Sphere we can take at level 11, but we're going to go with Hold Monster here. Or even Wall of Ice can be really good, um, but we're going to go with our Hold Monster because it's just a good choice. And then for level 12, we get a crazy amount of choice here, so um, we can continue to take le high level spells, but we got like Blinding Smite, Flame Arrow, Spiritual Weapon, Circle of Death, um, Hunger of Hadar, and uh, many other options. I really like Wall of Ice. Globe of Invulnerability being a really useful spell as well, so you could take that. And um, yeah, you got other choices here for other spells. If you want them like Haste even, uh, Flame Strike, Summon Shadow Spawn, I Banishing Smite, Scorch and Ray. Yeah, there's so many great choices. It's hard to pick one, but I'm going to go with the uh, Globe of Invulnerability and uh, Wall of Ice there. And we get another feed, so we'll take alert. So, yeah, this is pretty strong. And uh, what's fun about this is you get to feel like Zeus. So, uh, as for our spell slots, our spells, we do have eight fate points, so that's really nice. And I guess we'll put on. So, for armor, we do get we get a few different choices of what we want to wear. So, um, I mean, there's some obviously meta picks, and if you got different uh, mods, you can use different armors there. So, you can't use heavy armor but we can go with like the hell desk armor if we wanted something like that and then um we also got i guess things like the ballist armor here so we can use basically anything that's light armor or hell desk armor so depends on what armor class you want hell desk armor is probably like the best in slot if you want to be just really strong and then you can also um use something like a shield if you wanted to as well for further increasing your armor class so uh, we'll use a shield here and we got Stormbreaker. So I'm using modded weapons because I just think these fit perfectly. So there's the Stormbreaker, which um, has the powers of Thor, which is kind of cool because Zeus and Thor are very similar. And there's also Mjolnir here. So uh, you can go with a hammer or a axe there. I think these fit perfectly. But if you want a base game weapon, like the uh, going with the Ballast Armor and then also equipping the... Uh, Infernal Rapier can be a good choice, so you could go that route. Fowler Aluve is another good weapon. Rhapsody is a good weapon for spellcasters. Nyrolna also fits perfectly with the theming of this, so you got a few good options. I'm just going to go with Mjolnir. Stormbreaker is also really fun, too. Got the Evasive Shoes. Helldisk Gloves for plus one spell attack, roll spell save DC, and deal additional fire damage. Cloak Protection. And then uh, we also got the Ring of Protection, and then we'll use the Killer Sweetheart for critical hits. And then once you get your critical hit, you can swip, swatch, switch that off and use something Crypt Lord Ring to be able to summon an undead servant. And then we also got Mask of Soul Perception for increased initiative and attack rolls. And Hellrider Longbow for increased initiative as well with 27 armor class. Pretty tanky. So basically what we want to do, I'll show off a combat encounter here. So uh, we got lots of options for damage. This is a really powerful class too. So we'll get out there and show off what this can do. You got your static field which can create an area that'll stun people, which is really nice. Uh, we also got mon we got our elementals here so you can use these to set up. And another little pro tip, you can take like Marka Heshker staff and um, so you can basically like free cast yourself something and uh, then switch to another staff and use a free cast from it. So we we'll Marka Heshker here, get our free casting and then we'll use our free water elemental which is super useful here. And I won't even bother with others because it'll just take time. But you could use a uh, the Staff of Spell Power here to also cast your Minor Elementals. But I think that the Water Elemental just fits perfectly with this because when we attack, we can also get um, we can also be able to apply some extra damage from um, like our Lightning attacks here. So that gets really good. I'm just gonna run into this combat encounter here and then show off what this can do. So um, yeah, we got a we got a lot of choices for damage, which makes this fun. Uh, so we'll get our 
water elemental to go into the fray of things. The water elemental, you want to be using like the healing vapors. Yeah, we can't hit them with that, but what healing vapors does is it deals water damage. It applies water to a target, so that can be really nice uh, just for hitting the target with extra damage. I guess we can't do any... Oh, we can elemental warp. So we'll teleport it right here. That's the beauty of these is they can get in, teleport in, create... Which will heal the target, but it applies wet to them. So then we go in with our attacks. We have extra movement speed, so we can literally run right up to them. And then go with like a cone of cold, or we also have some um, lightning attacks. We got our cyclone strike, which which will do weapon damage plus lightning. So it's probably one shot them. Boom! Yeah, hit them with the hammer. A lot of damage there. <laughs> uh, and it was double because of the water elemental. And then we also use our godly energy to buff a target. Your hands jump, hit land, land hits more easily, resistance to all physical damage, or deal bonus damage with each attack. So we can even use this to buff up our uh, elemental here so it gets a little bit extra of damage which is really nice so we'll just end our turn there and we'll, i'm just going to show off what we can do with our team so i won't use these guys but uh yeah this is really strong because we can basically use uh lightning damage to deal extra damage to the target and uh if we got ourselves this weapon this obviously does increase things a little bit it feels a little bit overpowered but i just felt it was perfect for thematic purposes uh you can use any of the other weapons in this game so that's another choice now we got them all collected together for a big um we can get our water elemental in here to uh i just will warp it right there and then it'll use its healing vapors because no one got hit yet and we can hit all three of them with it so boom and then uh we go to ourselves and then we got things like chain lightning Storm Sphere even is really good, so we can go with a Storm Sphere. We're also a caster, and then we also have Steel Wind Strike for a bunch of damage too. Um, Wall of Ice, yeah, Chain Lightning being probably the strongest choice here. Cyclone Strike's pretty fun too, though I showed that off first. Um, we got our Frost Fingers there for a little bit extra cold damage. We can tr make Ice Surfaces. I actually might just use that and upcast it to like level 4 there. Because I don't want to use up my spell slots too much. So we'll just attack him, make Ice. And, uh, unfortunately hit them. It almost took him out. got close. But then we also get, uh, we can do Electrified Surge to deal a little bit extra cold damage. And we can also fly or teleport around. And, um, yeah, I guess with this, we just waste. we didn't really have a very effective turn. But we'll just end our turn there. And, uh, let Chaos ensue. So we can also m try to move him out of the way. But it's fine, we'll just leave him there. And then they're gonna come out and potentially, yep, slip on the ice. That's what we wanted. And we blocked it because we have a huge armor class. They saved on the ice, and he got knocked prone. Perfect. So that's an ideal turn. We want to get in, and then I guess we'll move. Oh, well, this is sketchy. Knock prone. <laughs> I was going to use my thunder burst to uh, knock both of them off of the edge, which would have been fun. But uh, I guess we can go with an explosive icicle here. And that's going to hit me. Ah, uh, that's tricky. That might hit myself. Oh, we hit them. Nice. And boom. But that's the that's the fun of ice services. You can knock people prone multiple times. And he's beckoning darkness. So that sucks. And uh, she teleported right into me. Block, nice. I don't know how I blocked while I was prone, but uh yeah, the ice services with the darkness makes this a little bit risky. And then I'll go ahead here. And we can even just drop like a chain lightning if we wanted to just I guess we got yeah, we can't see right now. Double movement. Ah, uh, we can hit him with this. That's not a bad idea. Boom, lightning. So we took them out with one of those. And then we can misty step out of the out of the ice zone if we wanted to. Um, and then we'll go to our... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll teleport out of the way. So we got our misty step to be able to um, kind of get... Oh, I knocked myself prone, of course. <laughs> What's nice about this is we can... Oh, we can't even choose an attack. It doesn't let us choose an area. So I was going to say, normally you're able to just drop these wherever, but for this one you can't. Target's too far. We can heal and apply it wet to everyone too, I guess. Um, that's not the best choice, but we'll do it. Because I know they don't have any cold spells, so... Knowing your enemy is helpful. And we also create another water surface. Oh, she's teleporting away. Darkness down, that's fine. They're not in the battle. You basically want, with this, you want to have your water elemental up. I keep blocking those attacks. You want to have your water elemental up and just healing, or doing the healing vapors as much as possible to deal some extra damage. 
So, uh, yeah, you can do your pretty crazy attacks here. There's no longer an ice surface on the ground, so we'll just come around here and... Oh, let's go knock him down the stairs. That's fine. Boom. Hit him with that. Knocks him flying. We create electrified water, which is fine. And then we can use our Bifrost step. Oh, this is part of my thing. We can also use the Temptious Magic Fly to fly our way out. So, um, that's a nice bonus from that. Immune to lightning damage, so that doesn't even bother us. And then we got our elemental here, which is super useful to just get in and do some crazy things with that. We don't have the darkness anymore, so we can hit an explosive icicle right... Oh, come on. We'll just use it right here. Oh, I missed her. Crap. And I blocked them all. <laughs> so, this isn't ending as quickly as it usually does. She's going to use probably Beckoning Darkness somewhere. She's avoiding the lightning. That's funny. You can actually abuse the lightning to push enemies where you want them to go. So, that, that exploded there. And then we can get into the... We'll get into the fray. We also have our Create Water, too, for a little bit of extra damage there. But, uh... We also have a Staggering Smite, which is pretty fun to use. Uh, so we have a huge hit chance. And we'll just probably take her out with that. Bonk. Yeah, that was huge. So, we took her out. Nice. Now we'll go and fight the guards here, because then I can show off what this class can really do with its Steel Wind Strike. We got a lot of cool options for damage. Um, and then you can also equip the Gaunter Mail Bow, which... What's nice about the Gaunter Mail is with this, you can apply haste to yourself. Because we don't have too many concentrations that we really want to be focusing on. So anytime you don't have, like, if you're not concentration heavy, it's a good idea to apply haste to yourself if at all possible because the two actions just super useful so we'll get into a combat encounter here now so boom and then we'll use i guess wall of ice does break concentration so we could <laughs> we could have our basically our summon come in here and then create water and we'll end our turn there so it'll It'll get into a good spot. So anytime you can jump someone, it's actually good to go about it this way. So, oh, uh, I guess we can only use that in combat. We can start off with the Create Water to double the damage. Or we can just go with something crazy like, uh, we can drop a Globe of Invulnerability to keep our team safe. Um, Steel Wind Strike to just zip around, dealing a bunch of damage. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll start with Steel Wind Strike, because this is really effective. And we can pick who we want to damage so we don't hurt any um, non team so boom attack that did a pretty good amount of damage and then we'll get them out of it so we'll just run them back the wings so funny we got our damage options here so lightning spells we typically want to be using if um we're going to be in the middle of things here so we can go with our um our big pushback attack here so that's one option just trying to find it uh so thunder burst which can knock what's nice about this is you can knock enemies Oh, they didn't get knocked off the edge there, so I was hoping for that, but it didn't happen. <laughs> um, so we'll move around because we have a lot of movement speed, and then we'll go with a Mind Blast here. What's nice about this is you got your lift abilities as a bonus action, so that can take out even further enemies. Really nice, and then that was that was not a bad turn. We'll get Gale out of things, and uh, then we'll see how they do. Now we can do some shenanigans with our um, Water Elemental, so we can apply healing which is nice for our team, but then they all become vulnerable to cold damage, so yeah, we can use that. Stick away from your team, boom. So things are looking pretty dire, but we do got some fun, powerful spells like our Chain Lightning here, which could potentially turn the tides if we find no really targets that are wet right now, but um, yeah, we do got, we're in a pretty rough spot, but we'll go ahead here with the Chain Lightning. So that took them all out, that's helping further this battle and then i guess we can go with a cone of cold over here <laughs> yeah we're running low on spells so oh we'll just go a step further trying to hit gail who's down with that and oh, we're just a little bit away from hitting that extra target oh we can still hit them though so they're high by the tree nice took them out so yeah this is a pretty fun class pretty powerful too um but uh yeah this is a very difficult fight to win. <laughs> I just wanted to show this off. They also got reinforcements from the back, so I probably could have taken out this side of things, but uh, it got a little bit ugly. So, very fun class. We're still at full health here. The Hair of Zeus subclass made by Dean Enterprises and uh, the, the Demigod class. Let me know your favorite thing about this class in the comments or what kind of build you want to see next in Baldur's Gate 3 with mods. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.